Yo, yo, what's happening? It's your man OG Bo Beats TV. Coming to you today with another special video. What's good? What's happening? YouTube. It's your man OG Bo Beats. And I'm back today with another video. Uh, today, I want to actually talk about my favorite top five shoes that's coming out, set to release for the month of October. We already in October. We just started the month. So I'm going to hit you off with five pair of shoes that I'm looking forward to seeing that's dropping this month, how you can get them, how much they cost, what day they drop, and uh, make sure you know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, welcome to my world, right? Uh, but before we get into that, please make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, leave a comment. You know I reply to all comments. This is your man OG Bo Beats, and let's get right into it. All right, boom, check it out, check it out. So we already are in October, I can't believe it. This year is flying by. It's going to be Thanksgiving, Christmas. It's going to be the new year before you know it. Um, so uh, this month, it's some dope shoes coming out. Whether or not I'm going to get them or not remains to be seen. We will find out. Um, but for now, I'm going to talk about the shoes that I think are um, ones to look forward to this month. So we're going to start it off just like this. Tomorrow, right, already on the 5th of October, we got the Air Force One undefeated sneakers releasing. Um, these shoes will retail for, ooh, I think 150. I might be mistaken. However, um, this is a very highly anticipated shoe. It's gonna drop on the sneakers app. Um, undefeated is a collab brand. They do a lot of different shoes with Nike's Air Force Ones, Dunks, things of that nature. Um, this shoe is a said to have five different materials on it one being crocodile it's gonna have some cotton it's gonna have some uh, some nylon it's just a bunch of different materials on the shoe but the the main uh body of the shoe is that navy blue crocodile color it's got a, like a sail um uh, midsole and it's got a white nike swoosh and of course it's got that undefeated logo on the shoe so it's a dope shoe um you know i really really would be uh would be cool to hit this shoe on the sneakers app, but you know, unfortunately, you know how that goes with the sneakers app. So, all right, moving along. On the 7th of October, um, you got the Air Jordan 5 uh, Bluebird, I think is what they're calling these, but this is basically an Air Jordan 5 women's shoe. Um, this shoe is gonna retail for 190, I know that. Uh, this shoe, is uh it's, it's a different kind of shoe and it's kind of hyped up i know a lot of people are gonna go for this shoe it's like a light uh real light photo blue i guess it's kind of one of the colorways they saying real light hint of blue on this shoe uh real dope colorway something new uh the only problem with this shoe is a women's shoe and, the, and it only goes up to a size 12 in women's which is a size 10 and a half in men so for me I do have some size 10 and a half shoes, depending on what it is. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go for this shoe. I've been letting a lot of these shoes go. Um, this for the women's, let the women's get them. But of course, you know, a lot of the fellas gonna try to get this shoe. Um, but it is what it is. I think it's a dope shoe. Uh, hopefully I can see it in hand. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so moving along, uh, October 16th, we got the Air Jordan 14 Winter Rise coming out. So already they coming out with the Winter Rise. I know I have a pair of Air Jordan 12 Winter Rise that I always forget I have, uh, but it's a very dope shoe. Um, kind of similar to the Air Jordan 12 Utility, by the way. But So the Air Jordan 14 Winter Rise has got this brown colorway. It's called like an Archeo or Archeo Brown. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. This shoe is retailing for $200. It's not a surprise because Generally, when they come out with these type of shoes, they, they up charge on the price a little bit. The materials are supposed to be, uh, you know, protection from the cold weather, keep your foot warm, maybe snow and, and rain or whatever the case may be. Uh, the inside of the shoe, I'm sure, is going to be equipped with some type of thick sock liner. Uh, there's a few previews out there of some people that got early pairs on YouTube. So, uh, you know, go check it out. Uh, I don't know about that one for me personally. I mean, I think it's a cool looking shoe but I don't know if I'm gonna actually go for that shoe. All right, so moving along, uh, let's switch it up to the uh, to the Adidas Yeezy 700. All right, these are gonna be called Wash Orange. These are gonna retail for 240, and they're gonna release also on October 16th. Um, so this shoe right here is one of my favorite silhouettes of the Yeezy, the 700. Um, 
it, it basically reminds me of the Wave Runners. You know what I'm saying? If you if you like the Wave Runners, then you should like this shoe right here. Pretty much a copy of the Wave Runner, you know. So I'm not quite sure where this is releasing at. Hopefully it'll, um, you know, it'll raffle on a confirmed app uh, for Adidas, but we'll see. So be on the lookout for those. Like I said, retail 240. Um, and then also uh, on the 23rd of October, you got another pair of the Yeezy 350 Boost. These are called MX Oat. Uh, this shoe is like, uh, it's got a bunch of different uh, abstract type of colors all throughout the shoe. A um, little bit of blue, a little bit of orange, a little bit of cream. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wild shoe, but some people may like it. I think it's dope. I like 350s. You know, um, I'm not sure where this is going to drop. Also, it may come out on the confirmed app as well. Uh, but it, it, it's an acquired taste for this shoe, I would say for sure. So I like 350s in general. I like the comfortness of the 350s, but I can see why a few people would not want to go for this colorway. But it is what it is. Okay. And then last but not least for my top five picks of the month of October, you got the Air Jordan 3 pine green releasing on october 30th now this shoe is going to retail for 190 generally most air jordan threes retail for 190 black shoe white you got that pine green you know pine green colorway is a staple in air jordan shoes um so it's a dope shoe I always like a black shoe with hits of, of some cool colors so you really can't go wrong with this shoe i'm a big fan of air jordan threes uh will i try to go for this shoe it depends on how the rest of my month goes Generally, I probably will, um, but we'll see. Of course, we know these should be dropping on sneakers and they should be available at Foot Locker, Chance, Foot Action, all that stuff through the, the Flex app and all of that. So, um, yeah, so that's what I got. Those are my top five for the month of October. Uh, let me know what you think about those. You know, it's a lot of other shoes releasing this month. I didn't preview. Um, so I guess honorable mention, you could say uh, the LeBron 19, the Toon Squads. Are coming out so the lebron 19 silhouette uh i don't know i'm up in the air about it maybe i gotta see him in person but you know sometimes lebron got some funky silhouettes but they're basketball shoes for sure so those are releasing a bunch of air force ones are releasing this month so i don't know if they're trying to make a comeback with the air force ones and then like always a bunch of dunks are releasing also so you know be on the lookout hey like i always say buy what you want you know, prepare for it, be ready, buy what you want because it's a dirty game out there nowadays in the shoe world. But that's my that's my top five, you know, what's happening in the month of October. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, share the video, leave a comment. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm OG Bo Beats. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.